There are so many people in the world that don't have access to clean water. Andrew Bitcon is concerned it's, about the worldwide water uh, crisis. After a trip to Rwanda, the business owner says he knew he wanted to do something to help. And we saw firsthand how so many people don't have access to clean water. We saw the little kids, uh, you know, climbing up and down hills with jugs of water. They have to go out three or four times a day to get water. So when he heard about a water sanitation initiative called Wash Away Thirst, he signed his Calgary car wash up for the cause. The program's called Wash Away Thirst, and the idea is for every car that we wash, we donate uh, money to Rotary International, and they use that money to provide uh, one day's worth of clean water for one person in a third world country. Wash Away Thirst was started in Atlanta, Georgia and has grown to include more than 100 car washes. Emmanuel Netaganda is a Rwandan refugee who works for Bubbles and says he's thrilled that his employer wants to make life better in his native country. They take the ta their time to help people who are in need, who need the water. So it's good because these people, they are my people, they are my community. In many villages in Rwanda, young children are required to carry several liters of water every day. This five gallon jug weighs 44 pounds and is usually carried for four to eight kilometers. Even more shocking is the fact that 4,500 children die each day because they don't have access to clean, safe water. Since its launch, Wash Away Thirst has provided 2.5 million days of clean water, a campaign that Bitcon says is going over well with customers. The customers love it. Uh, you know, it, uh, it's, a way for, it's a way for them to become more aware of water issues and they can make a contribution just by washing their car. It doesn't cost them any extra money. For Shaw TV, I'm Jamie Ross.